Welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all well. Today I wanted to play with a brand that I love for a very long time and this is Bobby Brown. I am watching lots of makeup videos on Instagram and I am watching Annie Conway who is a Bobby Brown pro makeup artist. I love her makeup and um, I was feeling a bit nostalgic while watching uh, her videos so I told myself why not playing with this brand today. So I will use other products. It's not a full one brand uh, makeup tutorial, but I wanted to play with my Bobbi Brown makeup. And if I don't have a product, of course, I will use another one that I love. So let's get started. I will first apply a primer today. So I love the Ren Perfect Canvas Primer. Ren Skincare is one of my favorite skincare brand. It's more affordable than a brand like Dermalogica, for example. The compo, are, the formula are very clean. And uh, I also love the fact that they have good formula, clean formula, but they also work a lot on the packaging to respect the planet. So this is a great thing, in my opinion. For a beauty addict like me, who buy lots of makeup products, I, and skincare product. I really like that. So I am applying few drops. And this primer will help my makeup to last longer, but it also will smooth all the texture and the formula that I will apply on my face. That's why I really love it. And it's for all skin type, which is great. So now I will apply a little bit of my Bobbi Brown lip balm. This is one of my favorite lip balm. I love it because it's not too greasy. There is not too much texture when you apply it on your lips. So it's a really good primer to apply at the beginning of your makeup, especially if you want to apply lipstick later. And I think, yes, there is an SPF 15. It's not a big SPF, but at least it's, a, it's an SPF for, for a lip balm, which is great. Today I will start with my under eyes and I will start to correct my under eyes. Uh, I don't have a Bobbi Brown corrector, like an individual Bobbi Brown corrector, so I will use my Bobbi Brown BB Pro Palette. It's from my Pro Kit, so it's for makeup artists, you don't need at all to buy it for yourself. Because as you can see, there is like all the corrector from Bobbi Brown, which is great when you are a makeup artist, and all the foundation stick. So this is, if you are a makeup artist, for me, it's one of the best products I bought uh, for my pro kit. I really love it. Uh, and I am going to use Light Bisque as a corrector. So Light Bisque is on, on the pink side. And it's great if you have blue, violet, blue, purple, dark under eyes. If you have more brawny, uh, dark under eyes, go for the peachy tone. But if you, like me, have more blue, purpley under eyes, go for a light pink corrector. I always, with corrector, I, al I am always afraid to apply too much uh, texture and to have too much formula under my eyes. That's why I always prefer to apply it with my finger. This way I can control how, how, how much formula I apply. And I really focus here, really at the beginning of my dark cycle. I'm not going all over, really at the beginning. And I go a little bit down. And I also try to don't apply too much formula here, even if I blend the, the corrector because I have a combination skin and so I can have some pores here and if you apply too much corrector, concealer or foundation here it looks really heavy in my opinion so that's why I prefer to use a light hand and with the rest I, have, I apply a little bit here I have um, 
kind of colored eyelid. I don't have a eyelid base to use today, but uh, if I had one, I would use one because I'm going to, to play with my eyes today. So that's it for my for my under eyes. I hope you can see because I'm living in my new new apartment. We moved last summer before um, Gaspar arrived, and um, and I'm trying different kind of eye in my living room to film to play with my natural light and uh, and my my light <laughs> for for filming. So. For my base, I wanted to use the Bourbon BB Cream that I really love. It's one of my favorite uh, products from Bourbon for base. I like to get a really nice and light to medium coverage. Unfortunately, they are not going to sell it anymore. I discovered that on Amy Conway's um, Instagram account, on video, she was speaking about it. There is a new um, liquid powder foundation with a light to medium coverage, which is up uh, since uh, since two weeks, I think. I really want to try it. Actually, there is lots of um, Bobby Brown products that I want to, to try and to buy. Um, so when this whole weird period will be done, um, I think I'm going to visit a Bobby Brown store, definitely. But for now, I still have my BB cream and this is really a product that I love for my base. So that's why I wanted to use it today. My shade is Fair and uh, this is a neutral shade. And I'm using my Bobby Brown full cover uh, brush, which is my favorite brush for foundation. This brush is the softest brush that I have tried in all the brush that I have tried. Honestly, honestly, 100% I have tried lots of different kind of foundation brush and this one is the best one. Especially if um, you don't know also how to apply or you're not really confident by applying some creamy foundation, you can't get wrong with it. It's very soft and you can buff the formula everywhere, all over your face. So I'm grabbing some BB cream and I apply it all over my face. I am very sad that they stopped this product, this BB cream, because I really loved it. On her channel, Amy Conway was saying that um, if you have um, normal to dry skin, uh, the tinted uh, moisturizing um, cream from Bobbi Brown will be a good option. Um, and if you have a normal to combination and to oily skin, the new liquid powder foundation will be a good option. I haven't tried it. I definitely will try it, so I will be able to, to tell you more about it, but um, for now, I still have my BB cream that I love. Never forget your neck too. For example, me, my face is darker than my neck, so when I'm, I'm choosing a shade, I always grab some foundation or concealer whatever uh, base product I have and I you know I do a line like that and on my face and on my neck and I choose the shade which when I blend it disappear on my on my skin so it means that it's the closest one to my skin tone. You don't want to be too dark. To conceal my under eyes because I have corrected my under eyes now I, I need to conceal it. I don't have a ruby bone concealer for now, uh, I used to have the long wear creamy concealer, which was one of my best concealer. Honestly, the texture was a little bit sticky, so weird at first, but when you know how to use it, always warm the product on the back of your hand before to apply it. If you don't know really, don't go directly from the bullet uh, if you want to be sure to don't apply too much formula. But for today, so I will use um one of the shades of the stick foundation from Bobby Brown. So my face, for my face, I'm using sand, uh, but I will go a little bit lighter for my under eyes. So I will go for warm ivory. 
I love the, the stick foundation from Bobby Brown. Honestly, it's one of the best stick foundation. If you are looking for a stick foundation that you can apply as a corrector or all over your face, I won't advise you to use it all over your face. Always, you know, correct the area where you need it and blend it with a kind of brush like that. But this is honestly, yeah, it's one of the best foundation stick. Every time I use it, people tell me I have a nice base. But because I wanted some, something a little bit lighter and a little bit creamier too, uh, that's why I went for the BB cream. Again, with my finger. So to set my T-zone, I'm using the Bobbi Brown Nude Finish Illuminating Powder. I have the shade Bare. Um, Bobbi Brown also do a really nice sheer pressed powder to set your makeup, which is matte. I wanted uh, to set my makeup with a more luminous powder because uh, I like to be glowy. Maybe it's because I used to have lots of acne and a really combination oily skin before, so I always went for matte product. So now I like to play with more luminous product. So I really apply it for now only here. So for bronzer, I will use my Bobbi Brown Golden Light Bronzer. So this bronzer is one of my first Bobbi Brown products. I really like it because it's a really golden uh, tone bronzer, but I used to have the Stone Street that I absolutely love. And I think I prefer a little bit the Stone Street. I will use my Golden Light, it's a nice one, but if you have a light uh, to medium skin tone like me, use also the Stone Street, or try at least the Stone Street, and both are nice, it's just that I love when a bronzer is not too warm, uh, that's why. Usually you do a kind of three shape, as I said, but honestly adapt your bronzer application to your, to your face. I'm not applying a lot of bronzer on my forehead. And I said I have a small forehead. So. For brows, um, I wanted to use a powder today. It's true that I'm using for a long time a brow pencil. I wanted something more natural, and it's true that I miss some hairs, and my hairs are not, my brow hairs are not always nice. So I wanted to do a nice brows today. And I will use, so it's a, you know, uh, Bobby Brown, they do some, they sell those kind of big palettes and you can plug all your eyeshadow or blush. So this is my, uh, my, uh, my eyeshadow. And I will use on my brows Blonde. Blonde, it's a kind of uh, brown with a bit of gray in it. Don't go for a um, brown which is too warm. And this is sometimes uh, what I don't like in some bro kits. Sometimes the brown that they, they propose is too warm, like brown with a bit of red. I prefer a brown with a bit of grey in it, so more on the cooler side. I will use blonde and I will use also a little bit of mahogany. They are very, very um, different, like one dark and one very light. But um, I apply the light shade at the root of my brows because I don't want something too strong. I really want something natural. And powder is a good way to have very natural brows and to fake the fact that you are missing some brows. I will use uh, the brush, I will use my eye definer brush. This is from Bowie Brown. It's a liner brush, but honestly you do what you want with your brush. Just try at home with your, your eyeshadow. Because you know, uh, bros uh, shadow, it's basically an eyeshadow. So before to buy a new one. Just check at home what you have. 
and if you don't have any eyeshadow for your brows I think the one from Bobbi Brown is a good option I don't have um, mascara for brows this is another product that I need to take if I had one I would use a clear uh, brow mascara and uh, the one from Bobbi Brown was uh, one of my favorite brow mascara because uh, the formula is very light you don't feel that you are applying some glue on your brows and with mahogany which is very dark apply a tiny bit at the bottom of my brows I wanted to smoke a little bit my eyes so to smoke my eyes, there is three products I like. So there is two um, two colors that I really love uh, for um, Bobbi Brown Long Wear Cream Shadow Stick as a base. So taupe right here and uh, Nude Beach here. The warmer shade is taupe. It's kind of a brown caramel shade. And this one is Nude Beach, which is more on the pink side. There is another one that I want to try. I can't remember the name. It's more on the cool side because it depends on your skin. Lots of products on my skin become very warm, like orange. So I like taupe, but I will cool down a little bit taupe with my blonde eyeshadow later if I apply it. Because it will be too warm, in my opinion, uh, as a base. I want really, uh, I prefer a cool smoky eye uh, for a day than a warmer smoky eye, at least for today. From another brand, there is one that I absolutely love and it's really one of my favorite shadow, smoky shadow shade. It's from Chanel and it's uh, the Stilo Ombre Contour. The shade is Contour Clair. Contour Clair. It is like that. It's a great shadow uh, to use underneath your eyes, on your lid, as a base. So today I will use taupe, but I will cool down the shade of taupe with uh, my blonde eyeshadow. So I like to I like to use a creamy product because it will help to to set your eyeshadow. And I apply it really at the at the root of my uh, of my lashes, and I blend it all over my lid. But I am not going to uh, too up. I don't have a big eyelid. I love eye makeup look but um, I don't have a huge eyes and a big lid so you also need to adapt the makeup with the space that you have and the kind of uh, eye shape that you have. And now I will apply again blonde. It's a really nice basic uh, shade for eyes and I will apply it on top of top. I'm using the Bobbi Brown Angle Eyeshadow Brush. So this is the kind of shade that I love to pop my eyes, but really um, on a everyday basis. So there's another shadow that I love. It was my first. Um, really nice uh, eyeshadow to do this kind of everyday look uh, if you have only one second you don't want to apply an eyeliner this is my most popular makeup video <laughs> it's crazy and uh, I was using in this video the um, almond eyeshadow from Burberry they are not selling Burberry anymore in France uh, which is really so sad but this eyeshadow almond is the kind of perfect um, cool brown shadow shade. So now that my eyelid is done, I will do a little bit of liner. So for liner, I'm using the Bobbi Brown uh, Gel Longwear Eyeliner. And this is the best eyeliner product that I have used. And I have tried lots. Every time I do a liner with an ink in a pencil, after two hours, maybe I have a greasy eyelid, I don't know. But I'm losing some products. This one, it's not moving at all, you can blend it a little bit. If you apply it on your waterline, it's not burning your waterline because I have used other 
that you can use on your eyelid, but if you apply them on your top waterline or bottom waterline, whatever, close to your eyes, it can be it can burn your waterline, so be careful with that too. But this one honestly is the best eyeliner I have used. And I'm using my Bobbi Brown Ultra Precise Eyeliner Brush. And I will start with my top waterline. So this way we won't see my, my skin between my lashes and my eyes. And we can see that this eye is a little bit more black than this one already. Because the shape is very like straight, I apply the shade, I'm not doing a line like that. No worries. So what I like to do is to take a dark brown shade, like Maogani. Maogani is one of my favorite brown eyeshadow shade. I use a small brush. This one is from MAC. It's one of my favorite brush. It's a 228S. And what I will do, I will smudge a little bit the liner to soft the edges. So if your line is not perfect, you can smudge it with an eyeshadow and uh, this is so easy because no one will see anything. So no stress. You don't have to, to do a really sharp eyeliner. You always can find a little trick like this one. And if you do a liner and uh, you want to be able to correct it, your best friend will be the Muji cotton bud. You do an eyeliner, I take my Muji, I do a line, straight line like that, and my, my eyeliner is like, the shape is great, but always do it uh, with your eyes open, not really open, like middle, look straight into the mirror and you will see your, your line. For the end of your eyeliner, you need to adapt it with the shape of your eyes. So follow the bottom lash line, like that. Because your eyeliner, you don't want it to be... You can do a kind of 60s look, but I want to my eyes to be a little bit up. Especially if you have a nice shape, uh, which is going a little bit down sometimes play with your eyeliner to, to make it more up. For my bottom lash line, I will try it up. So I want a very soft shadow. So now I will uh, curl my lashes with my Bobbi Brown eyelash curler. And for mascara, I'm using my Ilia mascara. Another thing that you can do, if you don't have a black liner, is to push the mascara uh, really at the root of your lashes so this way you will apply some mascara formula on your top waterline and you will get this really black effect for my cheeks i'm using uh, one of my peau rouge from boy brown and the shade is rose i apply it on the top of my hand and i will apply it with my full cover brush I really love creamy blush. So easy to blend. Really can't get wrong with it. Even if you apply too much at first, you can blend it. Voila! Another thing that I love to do is to apply another shade of my Nude Finish Illuminating powder from Bobbi Brown. This one is buff and I can use it as a bronzer uh, when I am very fair uh, during winter or I can use it a little bit on top of what I did today. So a little bit like a bronzer, a little bit here. This is an illuminating powder so there is some, uh, some sheen in it so it, it's very luminous. So for lips I have 
few options because I have lots of Bobbi Brown lip products. There is the crushed lip color in the shade Bear. This is my favorite uh, lip crushed because it's an everyday shade that I love. There is my sheer lip color in the shade Tutu, more pinky. And there is my liquid crushed lip color in the shade Juicy Date that I used already in my last tutorial. I will first try to do it. And because I want a natural lip, I will just dab it like that. And I love to, to use my finger. Even to take some product like that. I could use a lip liner. I'm not doing it today, but I could use it. I can add a little bit of lip craft. And I think I am done with this makeup. And that's it, we have it, my kind of Bobbi Brown nostalgic makeup look. I wanted to play with my Bobbi Brown product because I am in love with this brand. There is lots of new products that I want to try, like the new liquid powder foundation or the new drama palette, uh, which looks just amazing. So I probably, if I can get some of those products, We'll do another kind of Bobbi Brown makeup video uh, in the coming months. And I also wanted to do a focus on my eyes. I do lots of bold lips makeup, so that's why I wanted to do focus on my eyes. Don't hesitate to tell me if you like this makeup, what you think about Bobbi Brown makeup. In my opinion, it's one of the best brand. Why? Because you can use it on an everyday basis, but you also can achieve a more glam and bold look. That's why I really love this brand. Again, for brides, when someone is telling me, I don't want to hire a makeup artist for my wedding day, I want to do my own makeup, what do you advise me? I always tell them, go to a Bobbi Brown um, counter boutique and do a lesson with a makeup artist there and you will learn how to apply uh, and how to do your wedding makeup look. And honestly, those brides, look always gorgeous so it's a good way also if you don't want to spend too much money and uh, if you want to get your own product too so i really hope you enjoy this makeup don't hesitate to let me know what you think about this makeup look and also tell me what you would love to see uh, for makeup uh, i always love to read your comment thank you so much for your kindness and all your awesome comments after this long period of time without makeup uh, on my YouTube channel. I'm so glad to be back with you and so glad to hear from you. So thank you for that. Stay safe with your family and our friends and take care of yourself and I will see you in my next video. Bye.